Romans 13 verse 11 is a verse that speaks directly to the urgency of spiritual awareness and readiness in the life of a believer. And do this, understanding the present time, the hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber, because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. This verse serves as a wake-up call for Christians, reminding them of the importance of living in a state of spiritual alertness as the day of Christ's return draws nearer. Context of Romans 13 verse 11 The book of Romans, written by the Apostle Paul, is one of the most theologically rich letters in the New Testament. In Romans 13, Paul addresses how believers should live in relation to the government and society at large. He emphasizes the importance of love as the fulfillment of the law and calls believers to live in a manner that reflects their new identity in Christ. Verses 8 to 10 focus on the principle of love, while verses 11 to 14 urge believers to live in the light of the approaching day of salvation. Romans 13 verse 11 falls within this context of ethical exhortation, where Paul transitions from discussing love to emphasizing the urgency of spiritual vigilance. He reminds the believers in Rome that they are living in a critical time, a time when the return of Christ is closer than ever before. This awareness should motivate them to live in a way that is consistent with their faith, staying alert and prepared for the coming of the Lord. Wake up from your slumber. In the Bible, sleep is often used metaphorically to describe a state of spiritual lethargy, complacency, or ignorance. Just as a person who is asleep is unaware of what is happening around them, a spiritually asleep person is disconnected from the spiritual realities and the urgency of the times. Paul's call to wake up is a call to spiritual awareness and readiness. It is a reminder that believers cannot afford to be spiritually complacent or indifferent. The time is short, and the day of salvation is drawing near. This urgency should drive Christians to live with a heightened sense of awareness, fully engaged in their faith, and actively pursuing God's purposes for their lives. The imagery of waking up also implies a return to activity and purpose. When someone wakes up, they become active and begin to engage with the world around them. Similarly, when believers wake up spiritually, they become more engaged with God's word, more committed to prayer, and more intentional about living out their faith in everyday life. Understanding the present time. Paul urges the Roman Christians to recognize the significance of the era in which they are living. The phrase, present time, refers to the period between Christ's first coming and his anticipated return. This is a time of grace and opportunity, but it is also a time of spiritual battle and urgency. Understanding the present time involves recognizing the nearness of Christ's return and the implications it has for how believers live their lives. The return of Christ is not something to be treated lightly or ignored, it is a reality that should shape our priorities, decisions, and actions. The knowledge that our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed should create a sense of urgency in our spiritual lives. This urgency does not mean living in fear or anxiety, but rather living with purpose and focus. It means being aware of the spiritual battles that surround us and being prepared to stand firm in our faith. It also means recognizing the opportunities we have to share the gospel and to make a difference in the lives of others before Christ returns. Salvation is nearer now. This phrase highlights the progressive nature of salvation. While believers are already saved through faith in Christ, the full realization of that salvation will occur when Christ returns. Paul is reminding the Roman Christians that they are living in the final stages of God's redemptive plan. The return of Christ is imminent, and with it will come the completion of their salvation. This perspective should motivate believers to live with anticipation and expectation. Knowing that Christ's return is closer now than it was when they first believed should inspire them to live in a way that reflects their hope in Him. It should also encourage them to persevere in their faith, knowing that their salvation will soon be fully realized. 
living in light of Christ's return. Romans 13 verse 11 calls believers to live with a sense of urgency and purpose as they await Christ's return. This means being spiritually awake and alert, understanding the times in which we live, and recognizing the nearness of our salvation. To apply this verse in our lives, we must first examine our own spiritual state. Are we spiritually awake, or have we become complacent or indifferent? Are we living with a sense of urgency, or are we distracted by the things of this world? Waking up spiritually involves renewing our commitment to God and His purposes. It means being intentional about our spiritual growth, spending time in God's Word, praying regularly, and staying connected to other believers. It also means being active in sharing the gospel and living out our faith in practical ways. Understanding the present time requires us to live with an eternal perspective. We must recognize that our time on earth is limited and that Christ's return is imminent. This awareness should shape our priorities, leading us to invest our time, energy, and resources in things that have eternal value. Finally, knowing that our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed should fill us with hope and anticipation. It should encourage us to persevere in our faith, to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, and to look forward to the day when we will see him face to face. Romans 13 verse 11 is a powerful reminder of the urgency of spiritual vigilance and the importance of living in light of Christ's return. As believers, we are called to wake up from our spiritual slumber, to understand the times in which we live, and to live with the awareness that our salvation is near. May this verse inspire us to live with purpose, focus, and anticipation as we await the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen.